Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Archie. What are we doing today, Arch? Um, we're going to Didcot Rail Centre. Oh my goodness, and what is the Didcot Railway Centre? Um, it's... Is it the home of the Great Western Society? Yeah. It sort of is, isn't it? Come on, let's yeah. go and have a look what they've got. They've got all sorts of old steam trains and yeah. it's going to be great. They have a King class. They do? The yeah. Um, it's, so it's just off the Cut Parkway uh, mainline station uh, on the Great Western. And, um, and yeah, let's go and see it. Yeah. So we've just come in and the first thing is a ride on this. It's, that's convenient. <gasps> it's pretty handy, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad at all. No. It's one of these lovely old carriages I remember. Look at that, <laughs> three on three. Ooh. Great way to travel. And sticking your head out the window and not getting your head knocked off by a telegraph pole. <laughs> I think this is quite interesting. How's that? And stop the train in case of emergency, pull down the train, penalty for improper use, five pounds. Five pounds? Well, you could do that That's with pocket cheap. money. Exactly, it's so cheap. <laughs> it's empty. Nowadays it'd be like 200 pounds or something. Oh yeah, yeah. And we're off. There's the train spotters. Chocolate and cream Mark 1 coaches. We are gorgeous, aren't they? Mm. And this is the kind of thing that Didcot is just full of. Just tons of old rolling stuff. Yeah. And there's a water tower. Because behind it you can see the, the modern station. Yeah. But that's no fun. Look at this <laughs> old stuff. <laughs> Nice hands look there. Yeah. We're going to have a detailed look at all of this. I reckon so. Just so much stuff there. Isn't it? Mark 3 coach for by Mark 1 full break. This is the kind of stuff I love, Didcot. Yeah. Oh, it's unbeatable. And this little ride. It's only a little ride, but it's a great ride. Yeah, And there, look, turntable. Let's go and have a look in those sheds first, Darren. Yeah. It's the amazing thing as well here, that they're actually working on stuff on site and you can see them actually repairing and restoring. Yeah. Trains. <laughs> Don't think anyone's going to be restoring those ones. No, or at least not anytime soon. <laughs> and there we go. That is the length of the journey at Didcot. Yeah, it's quite cool. It's amazing. Right, let's go exploring. Yeah, let's do it. So amongst all the amazing things at Didcot, this, this looks like standard gauge track arch, but why aren't those axles fitting on it? Because they're broad gauge like that track there. Like this track here. Yes, Didcot has broad gauge, the old Stevenson, and they got some locos inside that shed. Oh, it's proper massive, isn't it, broad gauge? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, I just noticed something. This is standard gauge. Yeah. And if we <laughs> try to here, it's broad gauge. Also, look, they've put an extra line here. So standard gauge. It can be either, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a minute ago I said Stevenson's broad gauge and what I meant is Brunel's broad gauge, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, look, here's Firefly. Or it's a recreation of. <coughs> Amazing. Here we are, Iron Duke. One of the old... What's that, sir? Another one of those broad gauge Absolutely, yeah. 
Oh, that massive wheel. I love the big old middle wheel. And it's also interesting how more modern steam trains, not that steam trains are modern, but they're using wooden. Um, what's it called? Right, we've just uh, given Archie a clip round the air roll and sorted out that <laughs> issue about wooden boilers. Um, no, more seriously. Um, and then they've got some of these early carriages. Um, considering obviously trains went a lot slower then, they don't do the one, two, five miles an hour. Um, but still, it's a bench seat, yeah. Sat opposite. There's no cushions, there's no windows. Also, not that much gap. Oh, sure, yeah, I'm is. completely bopping my head, yeah. Mm. Do you think I'm going to have a bit shorter back then? No, not all of them. Now, one of the great things here, I think, if, you, if you're if you a bit of a rebel like me, you can actually break rules. Look, <laughs> we can cross lines. We can cross broad gauge lines. There's no trains coming. We can do what we want. I doubt it. There's no trains coming. Look, we can walk down the lines. Can't do this on the tube. So here's a lovely hand cart in the background, a signal box. They've got everything. What's Archie sat in? It is, isn't it? You've got a tiny one of these that Dorian gave you, haven't you? Yeah. And here's the real genuine Wickham. Yeah. Ooh, lovely, isn't it? Hmm. I doubt if it's as fast as your uh, Backman one, is it? No, I don't. <laughs> quite a racer. Or at least in scale miles per hour. No, quite. This is amazing. Amazing that it survived and amazing that it ever worked. It's Brunel's crazy, um, he called it atmospheric caper. Um, so you, you cause a partial vacuum in the pipe and it pulls a train along? Roughly that's what it's saying. Um, I don't understand it and, um, and it only ran for seven months so perhaps it wasn't a great idea. Pulling a train in the 19th century with a partial vacuum sealed by leather. I, I don't know. That's pretty impressive. Impressive, yeah. Confusing to me. I don't know. Return to Paddington. What have we got here, Arch? Um, a sleeper coach. Sleeper coach. But it's it's a Mark a 1. One. Go on. Look, it's got three real bogeys. <gasps> hmm. I have seen these before, but only in Hornby format. <laughs> They're quite cool. Yeah. What's this, Arch? It's a GWR rail car. Number 22 in chocolate and cream. Mm. And what I like here, coming out of this shed, we've got this fun arrangement where oh. they can switch tracks using this little guy. Yeah. And it, and it does clearly work because this is quite... Because this is oh yeah, because they've actually used it to get these in. Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah, amazing. Okay, we're inside sheds now. Look at these. Arch, these are proper old, aren't they? Like 19th century, aren't they? Looks like it. And also, I'm pretty sure last time we were here, these were just bits of wood. We have been here a few times before. Yeah. So this is all refurbished. And what an amazing job they've done. Mm. I think these would be perfect coaches for that little branch line going back and forth. Yeah. Because they're small, very old, and beautiful interiors. Stunning. <laughs> this is what we mean restoring stuff. So here, I mean, that's, that's got to be original framework. But they're putting new wood panelling on. Mm -hmm. Like this. And then we saw the finished product further up there after they've um, done, done it. Go on. <gasps> What's that? It's a class fourteen in BR Green. Yeah. So there's a few things running today, yeah? That's what I like about this place. Yeah, so much going on. Maybe that's why they didn't want us to go on that track. 
Archie said earlier there was a King class here. King Edward II it is. Yeah. Um, it's not in great condition, Arch. There's not much of it. No, these the old yeah. wheels of it. They do actually it's have to drive wheel, end. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. They do actually have the full engine. I've seen it. <laughs> I think it's just in service. But yeah, this is beyond repair. This one. Yeah. Well, that's the one that was shunting us around a minute ago, isn't it? A class eight shunter. Where are we, Arch? We're in this amazing shed, just absolutely chocker of steam locos. Yeah. Let's go explore them. <laughs> Incredible. Just tons of them. Look, more behind. What's this one? Lady Legend. that several films have been made here and pop videos but I'm more interested in locos and pop videos it's just crazy and also crazy how close up you can get okay so what I love about this place is that you can get in some of the locos Let's do it. and have a look inside so like this, I'm here. It's gorgeous. And you can see just where it was like driving the station. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you get your own little seat? <laughs> here we are. What's this, Arch? Um, it's a nice little penny tank, only it's not that little. The funny thing is, when we've got these on the layout, they do look quite small, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> compared to some of the locals we have, but actually it's massive. I can't reach up to the top of it at all. Mm. Great beasts, all of them. Yeah. This place is just full of it. And you can even get down into the inspection pit if you want to see the underneath. Not that, not that we really want to. Nah, I don't think so. I think you need a good bath after that one. Someone's done a great weathering job on this. Yeah. Again, just so much stock around you. Yeah. Wheels, carts, trolleys. Mm. Even arches. <laughs> Even arches. There's one. <laughs> These old Mark II coaches, and inside, uh, show us what's inside, Arch. They've done them up with interactive displays. Yeah. Go on. So, you can do word searches. Signaling and network. Um, Valves, it, pressure. Yeah. Go on, show us how it works. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. But in real life, a bit faster, I suppose. Amazing, though. This is interesting. Obviously, as it says, railways were a target for bombing in the Second World War. There's a panic tank, I haven't got the wrong end. Um, and actually, of course, they built bomb shelters here at Didcot. Oh, there's a bomb shelter there. Yep. Yeah. That's quite cool. Absolutely. Reinforced up on the top there. Yeah, quite a lot of noisy nights in here, I wonder. Yeah. And the toilet in the corner. Rare and raid warden helmets. Mm -hmm. Here we are inside the GWR Museum here. Huh? More of everything. Very cool. So there's another old bomb shelter. Um, but here's a new uh, signalling display. Let's go inside. Signalling sensor, okay. Very nice room. 
Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's the layout we want, isn't it, Arch? Yeah. Let's get one of them in the living room. <laughs> oh. And you actually get taught how to do the signals. For a laptop is to allow us to add in head code. So that train that came in, it's it's journey finished, so it's given a new head code for the one that goes back out. But I put the time in for my time that used to go off at. Go for it, yeah. If the train was here and it was only three lights, how is it all of a sudden that? Well, the trains will go there. Very good question. It's because the panel isn't scale at all. Oh. So, amazingly enough, yes, yeah, Swindon Station looks massive, but really from end to end, that's about half a mile. But we need to see it very clearly for all the points and signals. It's quite a more complex layout. Whereas, for example, this section here of the single that was then back in the night, a single line off to Kendall Station is actually ten and a half miles. Miles, hence all these level crossings look as if they're so close together, but actually they're not. So that's the reason you're right, it looks short in here, but this is just one one fairly small curve that heads you down past what was the old swim and work site. So yes, yeah, suddenly it looks massive because the track section is a bigger. Yeah. It's a turn push, and it's not allowing us to ah, try again. When you that yeah. main route, there we are, it's so all these clear. points are having to work to allow you because to carry out that manoeuvre. The rule is today, and we've got our green signal, it's no almost like a shunt signal, and then that will get that train on the move. Mm. While we're doing that, of course, we can signal this train out onto the down main line, that's so going off towards Bristol Parkway. Yep, so you turn that and I will push my button. But isn't there a train going there? Ah, well this is the clever thing, the interlock of those relays, it works out that although this train's going this way, because it's already confirmed the route, it that can then set this additional route yeah. and they're not going to therefore, uh, yeah. even if they, yeah, even if they overran no, the signal at red, it would no, still allow them to, to, to yeah, not exactly, yeah, not to come into contact with yeah. each other. Brilliant, so you've now got those two trains on I thought that was amazing. This is all new here. And by the way, that's actually what the new ones look like. But what we were just playing on there was the actual 1968 uh, Swindon signal desk. Um, it was good fun. Amazing the education. Oh. There you go, you see. Finally, my gaming's going to get me a career. <laughs> no, I think you being a train fan is going to get you a career. <laughs> One of the two. You never know, do you? Mm. Where next, mate? There's so oh, much mate. here. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Wander around. So what are we on here, Arch? I'm um, on class 14 shunter with a coach behind her. What, what's the coach? Do you know? No, I'm not sure. Right. Oh, we've got the smoking compartment there. That's a good thing. Isn't it? A Colette auto train. Mm. All aboard! All aboard! Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, can I squeeze past? Oh, God! That's where he keeps the sandwiches. It's <laughs> a great day out. There we are, Arch. Did Court Railway Centre. What do you think? I love it. We've been before, we've been several times, we've just never filmed it. Mm. Um, but as you see, if you like steam, British trains, uh, this is the place to be. It's just incredible. Yeah. We filmed maybe half the stuff here. There's more stuff. There's stuff in every little corner hidden away. Yeah. Oh, we haven't done the turntable yet, have we? No, we haven't. See, there's always something else. Not sure if we'll make this. Bye now. Bye. They say diesel trains pollute the air. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous.
Nothing in it.